Welcome back to my channel on every smart ways at Dev Tips and Trick Fellas. sign of anyone have this does not bode well what if he's spotted by a oh, wait a minute this isn't how we left it oh no the mirror it's broken He must have taken his mask off and seen what he did. If he'd just done as he was told, we have to find him. Looks like we are going the right way. Uh, come on. Forest Rangers. Hey, 
Who are you? We haven't seen you around here before. What's your business here? Have you seen a, uh, hilly girl? <laughs> I asked you first. Don't make this more... I said, have you seen... Hey, whoa. Look, sir, there's no need to get so worked up. There are hilly trolls everywhere. What's the big deal? We see plenty of them out here. Exactly. Matter of fact, we just took out a few of them back there. Those dumb boneheads. You, you forest ranger scum! You, you spawn of the seven are all the same! I'll have your heads if you so much as let you... You're raving mad! You've got some gall coming here to our nation insulting the forest rangers! Curse you all, forest rangers! I don't get it! Why make such a huge fuss over a few of you? He'd only just regained his mind! How could you do this? So tell me, Forest Rangers, did you really spare none of them? Jeez, you're really not gonna let this go. Fine, weirdo. If you must know, I happened to cross paths. I was frightened at first, but it didn't seem to have any interest in me at all. <gasps> yes! Wait, you're leaving? Not even a thanks for the info, go. It was all a trick. I told you, we're in a fairy tale world now. Kari Bear? How could this happen? He regained his. Come, Kari Bear. We have to go home now. You're awake! Finally we- Wait, no. Why am I still calling you Traveler? Oh, I have known your true identity for some- <laughs> I suspected it was you oh, from the beginning. Oh, of course you haven't. With your status here, you can hardly be expected to know all of us. In any case, I've been using a fake name this entire time. <laughs> My real name is Clotar. Clotar Alberich. You saw it too, didn't you? Unmistakable, eh? The power inside Kari Bear and the power of the one you call as Sinner. It was one of the... <laughs> I am positive now. It's the power... Oh, at long last, I have seen it with my own eyes. That is no business of yours, a sinner. Yes, salvation for a sinner can only come. Karabel did not deserve his fate, but now, it's wonderful. He will be able to weave his own destiny anew. Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become the loom of fate. Huh? Sinister. 
never imagined that you, of all people, would deny the Abyss. How ridiculous! We once believed that you would bring new strength and hope to Conria. To us, you were the Abyss. A wondrous mystery far beyond our imagination and comprehension. And the one who controls the Abyss can control everything. We yearned for that future. We looked to you to take us there. But what did you bring us instead? Oh, Princess of Con... Why did he just call me? I checked the ley lines nearby. It appears that the Abyss tampered with them, and they've been in turmoil ever since. Information and memories flow within the ley lines. What did you witness? You mean Clotar Alberic? After founding the Abyss Order, his faith in the Abyss led him to do a great many things. But the curse of immortality continued to torment his body and mind. And in the end, neither his faith nor the Abyss he worshipped could save him. After a hundred years, he lost his mind completely and was never seen again. Yet his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously was just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during his life. You could say that. She wouldn't be the Abyss Order's princess otherwise. saw her memories from centuries ago, through your own eyes. It all but defies belief. Still, as I'd suspected, the notion of the loom of fate did indeed rear its head during that time, and it seems closely connected to Clotar Alberich's son, Caribert, and what happened to him. And yet your sister never breathed a word of this incident to me. I wonder, was it? Clearly, this series of events sparked a long period of deep contemplation. What is it? The field? What does that have to do with anything? You mean here? Well, let's start digging and see. You scared the duke out of Paimon! Did, did you rebury them yet? A male and female skeleton, buried together. Interestingly, the male skeleton appears to have been interred much later. And it's holding... But what does this mean? And how did you know that there were bodies buried here? What? That's Im Unless... Clotar Albury finally found... This all raises far too many questions. I need time to think. We should part way... Huh? You're just gonna leave? Why? You... It's better that we split up for now. I think that he might have seen you. Yes. I have my suspicions as to his identity, but I need to confirm some other details before I can be sure. If the time is right, I will tell you when we next meet. But what do you mean that he saw the Traveler? How is that possible? I fear that while these things would limit anyone else, they are no one. What? Why? What is- All right, let's leave it there. Get some rest, 